What's up everybody and welcome to The Dig, a series dedicated to helping you. Welcome to my episode of The Dig, a series dedicated to helping you improve profitability on your farm. I'm Steve Gout, Eastern Region Agronomy Manager for Bex Hybrids, and today we're gonna talk about nitrogen and how we can manage it to increase profitability on your farm. It's important to remember that as with all nutrients, nitrogen stewardship is all about managing the four R's. The four R's are right source or form of nitrogen, right rate to meet your corn crop needs, right timing for crop growth, and right placement to optimize source rate applied and crop growth. So number one, the right source or form. A good nitrogen recommendation accounts for all sources of nitrogen availability, livestock manure, crop credits, soil nitrate test, and credit from nutrient sources like nitrogen, DAP, MAP, AMS. Consider your climate conditions and maybe you need to use an end stabilizer if you fall apply or early spring planting nitrogen applications. Number two, economic optimum nitrogen rate. Now, this is different than the agronomic optimum nitrogen rate. So economic makes you the most money, agronomic actually makes you the most yield. As a mobile nutrient, the amount of nitrogen that is necessary in a given year varies due to environmental conditions. However, our nine-year PFR economic optimum nitrogen rate data consistently comes in around 190 to 195 units of nitrogen per acre in a corn after soybean rotation. Now, many of you think about high nitrogen prices and high corn prices. Those numbers actually don't vary very much through the year. But do hybrids differ in their response to nitrogen rate? We've also learned in PFR over time that some hybrids tend to have a higher likelihood of response to full season nitrogen available, while others may have a lower level of response. It's important to know the nitrogen response of hybrids you plant to ensure you're placing products in fields and situations that optimize yield within your nitrogen program. In a given year, we typically see a 25 to 50 unit difference in the economic optimum nitrogen rate between a nitrogen efficient hybrid and a hybrid that likes to be side dressed or nitrogen pig. For corn and soybeans, this can run from 175 units to almost 200 units, depending on the environmental conditions and the hybrid used. Now we've also seen in a lot of studies that newer genetics tend to use more nitrogen later in the season than some of our older genetics that we're used to planting. In corn after corn rotations, our nine-year PFR data has shown a similar trend, but with a higher in-use rate typically required. However, the overall economic nitrogen rate is typically higher for the corn after corn system. This greater rate results from the previous corn crop residue tying up nitrogen from the current season in what is called a carbon penalty. This results from the fact that a specific carbon to nitrogen ratio is ideal for promoting microbial activity in the breakdown of stalks from the previous season. By adding more nitrogen, we feed the soil microbes that can help promote yields. So ultimately, PFR data tells us we need about 30 units more nitrogen applied in a corn after corn situation versus a corn after soybeans. So number three, right timing. Understanding corn nitrogen needs over time and growth stages is key to a successful corn crop. Corn from V8 to VT needs seven to 10 pounds of nitrogen a day. In order to ensure that that nitrogen available, we need to apply it before that rapid uptake stage. A corn plant uses a great deal of its nitrogen later in the growing season. In fact, over 75% of the nitrogen uptake occurs after the V10 growth stage. The most rapid uptake usually occurs between V8 and tassel time when the corn plant takes up seven to nine pounds of nitrogen each day. Ensuring ample nitrogen is available, the correct form and timing is important to maintain yield potential. All right, let's talk nitrogen timing. Four years of replicated PFR data has shown an advantage to side dress applications of nitrogen. Does that mean side dress applications will pay every year and in every environment? No, not necessarily. But when it comes to nitrogen, managing risk is a solid approach. Side dress applying nitrogen decreases your risk from the nitrogen loss mechanisms because less of it is exposed at any one time. It also helps provide an adequate supply 
during key growth stages. Through our multi-year PFR research, we have learned that a few products have provided a positive return and can help reduce or improve nitrogen timing and placement. So some of those could be using a stabilizer product for your nitrogen, making sure you're applying your nitrogen in the ground, making sure that soil conditions are right, getting those grooves sealed where you're applying the nitrogen, and just overall not applying nitrogen before a big heavy rain. Timing is everything. So number four, we're gonna talk about the right placement. There are multiple methods to get nitrogen to a crop. So planting and weed control should take priority over nitrogen applications. Even if you're locked into an anhydrous purchase, for example, you can still side dress your corn with that product. Stick with the goal of supplying a crop with ample nitrogen throughout the growing season to maximize yields. I look at it as the way I eat. I like three, maybe four, maybe five meals a day. Well, your corn crop, if you're gonna give it all the nitrogen up front, that would be like you eating breakfast and that's the only meal you have that day. So split applying nitrogen is extremely important to making sure that corn crop has its meal all year long. So let's talk split or side dress nitrogen applications. The advent of readily available sources of both granular and liquid sources of nitrogen and more flexible equipment to apply it means it's no longer necessary to have all the nitrogen available at planting. However, applying the majority of the recommended nitrogen as a late post application is also not recommended. In both cases, the risk is too great. A split or side dress application can be planned or added in response to weather-related losses early in the season. Applications made after the plants have emerged allow you to maintain more available nitrogen during key growth stages like ear development around your V4 to V6 range and late vegetative and early reproductive stages from V12 all the way into R1. By minimizing losses, you can see yield increases and minimize the negative environmental impact of nitrogen applications. We continue to research many other products and practices in PFR, such as 360 Y-Drops, which allow us to apply nitrogen in season right along the rows. It has yielded some very positive results. We've also been testing our two by two by two system on planters. This system over the last three years has gave us consistent yield gains of almost seven bushels. By being able to place nitrogen on both sides of that corn plant for more and better root growth. For me, this is gonna be probably the next step in nitrogen placement. So today, we have Steve Hold Gow. On guys, I've taken care of everything. Thanks for watching my episode of The Dig, and I hope you've learned a little bit about nitrogen management. Be sure to tune in next time. Yeah. Cool, yeah. thanks. Yeah, great job, Steve. We, nice we job, really, yeah. We really appreciate yeah. you coming out today. That thanks was, for giving us a couple minutes to be on our show, you know. Yeah, great work. Yeah, hopefully we can nice job. do it ourselves next yeah, time. Hopefully. We'll see. Yeah. Well, anyways, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Keep an eye out for our next videos. Hopefully we don't have Steve in it. We'll see. But <laughs> <laughs>